Welcome to Most Amazing Facts. Today in Ask Reddit, students of Reddit, what was the reason for why one of your teachers had a breakdown during class? I have a story for this one. A few years ago, I took a class in design theory. It was the pet project of the head of the college and taught the design principles behind everything from common household objects to room layouts to entire organizations. It was an absolutely brutal class, but uniquely informative. One day, towards the end of the semester, we went over the use of humor in design. The professor spent the entire class talking about how laughter and amusement can be used to engage an audience and change how people see a situation. The whole time, he was laughing, cracking jokes, and good ones too, and generally making sure the class had a good time. At the end of the lesson, he told us not to underestimate the power of laughter. After all, it was how we had gotten through the lecture that day. His father had died a couple days prior. He broke down crying after he told us. It's probably the most impactful lecture I've ever attended. Grade 10 science class. We were taking turns using some kind of lung capacity measuring device. Breathe into a tube and a small plastic ball gets raised by the force of your breathing. Something gets measured somehow. I can't really remember details aside from the plastic ball. Anyway, the teacher takes his turn, apparently trying to show off with how hard he can breathe out, somehow breaks the measuring device. The teacher goes into a rage after realizing he broke it, briefly tries to fix it, gives up, picks up a metal garbage can, and throws it in anger, storms out of the room, and doesn't come back for 10 to 15 minutes, at which point he returns and acts like nothing happened. It was more bizarre and amusing than anything else. This teacher always seemed tough as nails, so it was a shock when a kid just said she looked like a pit bull. She did have jowls, and she left crying. One of my teachers looked like Pitbull the Rapper. What was cool about it? The teacher was bullied and disrespected every day. One day, an idiot threw a geometry compass and it got stuck on a cork board right beside her while she was writing on the board. Instant meltdown. In tears. She left the class and I never saw her again. Can't blame her. She probably thought her life was in danger at that point. The teacher learned that one of the students cheated on a history essay. After getting this kid suspended for two days, repeat offender, she discovered that two-thirds of her class in that subject was cheating as well. I don't know what happened after that, but she literally broke down when she found out that my class knew about it. We were in a different subject, so we weren't part of this scandal. We made our English teacher cry, but we didn't want to because we really liked her. She was about to switch to another school, and she had some really important things to do. She needed to call someone, so she gave us a task to do and left the room for like five minutes. We were a horrible class, around 16 to 17 at this time, and mainly boys. We had breakfast together that day, and stuff was still in the classroom. So the boys decided it was time to throw it around and hit the window with a stick of butter. While one boy tried to clean the window using a squeegee, is that the right word? Never used it before and I'm not native. Someone else decided to throw out the trash. Another teacher came because she saw the trash flying out the window of her classroom and in the moment she started yelling at us, the other teacher came back. She immediately started crying as she saw what was going on. I think she was angry and overwhelmed because she liked the school and didn't want to leave, but in this moment, we were the little assholes making the decision easier. But the next week, she came into the class and had written a small poem for us about being too old to throw around trash and playing with butter. Too old to play with butter. My favorite science teacher in high school was slowly being forced out by administration. One day in class, she stopped teaching and sat down in front of us and told us she's just been diagnosed with MS and began sobbing. The entire class got up and gave her a long group hug. It is one of the most cherished memories from that chapter of my life. That's so beautiful. I was diagnosed six years ago. It's better now, not 100% back to normal, of course, but oh man, that first year was terrible. I hope she's doing okay now. She was a substitute teacher at her elementary school, and at some point, a kid took it too far and threw a bottle at her. It was an empty plastic bottle, but still, poor teacher. Teacher hit and killed a student walking on their way to school. At my high school, a student hit and killed an elementary school teacher on his way to school. Then he tried to act tough about it like he thought it was funny. Most people already hated this guy, but this really sealed his fate. Physics teacher came into class late, walked past the podium and walked into the chalkboard like he would have kept walking if it wasn't there. He then picked up one of those plastic pen things that you put chalk in, proceeded to try and write on the chalkboard even though the pen was empty of chalk, all the while mumbling incoherently. Found out later he had a stroke and managed to drive himself to the university. He didn't return to teaching that year, and as best as I recall, he ended up retiring due to health complications. He was in his 60s, and along with the stroke, he had fallen and hit his head. Online searching shows he passed away about eight years later. I had a similar experience in college with a history teacher, but at the time, at least it looked like he was just wasted. I still think this is probably the case, but several people did check to see if he was okay. I still remember him slurring, the malaise of Wilhelmina, Germany, repeatedly. Everybody just gave up and left after a while. 
My eighth grade Spanish teacher and the freshman baseball coach were having an affair. It eventually became public knowledge and she had several breakdowns as her divorce played out over the course of my eighth grade year. I had the pleasure of joining the freshman baseball team the next year and experiencing his own share of breakdowns from his own divorce. I had two teachers who were married and went to my church. They were both super nice and some of my favorite teachers. One was my homeroom slash PE slash health teacher in eighth grade and the other was my English teacher in freshman year. They split my eighth grade year and it was really sad. You could tell both of them were on the verge of breakdowns the majority of the time. I hope they're doing better. There was a science teacher already on the verge of breakdown. We called her Molecule. Someone wrote that on a leaf of one of the plants in the class and she started crying and pretty much had a breakdown. When people endure both crap for too long, they can completely fall apart over the seemingly smallest, silliest things. It's like the Ruthie episode of Bojack where Princess Caroline has a day brimming with awful experiences and the thing that makes her cry is finding out that her necklace was fake. One time in math class, the emo girl was not having it. I don't even remember how it got started, but she ended up bickering with the teacher and the emo girl called the teacher thunder tits. It was at this point that the emo girl was sent to the office and the teacher had to take a seat at her desk in the back for a few minutes. Thunder tits and lightning, very, very frightening. Galileo. My university physics professor got the call that his dog had died right before a test. Needless to say, we didn't have a test that day. Oh, when a dog dies, I always get sad regardless whose dog it is. My junior high biology teacher legit used to have a weird ass flashbacks of when he fought at Vietnam. It was really sad to see. We had a substitute teacher that would make all students in the class pop open their metal binder rings in unison. Otherwise, the sound of multiple binder rings opening at different times would remind him of artillery sounds. I had a junior high math teacher like that. I thought it was just a rumor. One day, he was sitting at his desk towards the end of class, and he just got this dazed look. Suddenly starts yelling weird things at us, and we all got super quiet. There were rumors he had thrown things during this, these episodes, but I never saw it. The one that sticks out is my history teacher, who was level 10 and competent at anything. She usually blathered on through class about stupid things. She was always very well put together, dressed well, hair done. It's just there was no substance to her teaching or conversational topics. One day, she started talking about a co-worker she was very close to when she was young. Mind you, she had to be approaching her 60s. The story started out innocent enough, where we were all basically ignoring her, and pretty soon it veered off into this terrible reality. Her co-worker had gone home from work and died in a car accident accident on the way home. This had to have been 30 years ago. She was crying, saying how much she missed her, how crazy life can be. The way she explained the story was so sad, too. They had made plans the following day, and my teacher was excitedly waiting for that co-worker to come in. I disliked that teacher immensely, but I felt so sorry for her. She stood there, crying, because her friend was gone. I don't think at 15 I could imagine that sort of loneliness or pain, but now, a good 15 years later, I've had her experiences, and I sympathize with her. My history slash government teacher has been to Vietnam, and it's quite known that he was on the front lines. So in the middle of a lecture, a girl raised her hand and asked, have you ever killed someone? The question caused him to go silent and leave the room for quite a while. Luckily, the girl was ripped a new hole by her fellow classmates. Same exact thing happened to my history slash government teacher. He was the best teacher and gave a great lecture when it came to discussing the real Vietnam War, how he overcame his alcoholism and still struggles with PTSD. I'm a teacher and a veteran. I get that question every year. Either I tell them it's an inappropriate question, or one of my students tells them. I never get upset at questions like that from kids. My best friend caused the school librarian to lose it because she thought she caught him masturbating in the nonfiction section. For clarification, the librarian accused my friend of masturbating in said section of the school library. He's denied all allegations and refuses to answer any more questions on that matter. Well, at least he was keeping it real, am I right? Not my teacher, but my younger sister's at the time. The class was making fun of her recent miscarriage and her mom dying of cancer. Yeah, teenagers are cruel. My math professor in college was going through a divorce and they were fighting for custody of their two younger children. You could tell he was irritated because he wore his emotions on his sleeve. One day he came into class about five minutes late and he was physically shaking. He was violently crying and apologizing to us and said the class was canceled. He had apparently lost the custody fight with his ex-wife. I had something similar. My math teacher, around 2006-ish, was going through a divorce. We all got the impression it turned her deep into some kind of depression. She was absent a lot and sometimes just gave us a paper with math problems to solve while sitting lethargically at her desk. One time she totally broke down in front of us. She randomly told us that she saw one of these have you seen this cat flyers pinned to a tree and called the owners to ask how it is to own a cat. The owners felt ridiculed and allegedly shouted something. She sobbed while repeating, I just wanted to know how it is to have a cat. Man, I felt so bad for her. He was showing us a diagram of a baby in a womb when it started off as an egg and the diagram was spinning around. And we kept asking if the baby spins out for nine months and does it get dizzy, etc. 
He had butted a locker. Some guy came in late and started talking to his friends. The teacher chimed in with something like, if you're going to be late, you might as well not show up at all. So he said, fine, and left. She stared blankly at the door for a good 30 seconds and then yelled at everyone else in the class for what one now absent student did. I distinctly remember her claiming at one point, everyone in this room is failing this class. Was your classmate Lil Pump? We'll call him Mr. Jiggles. Of course, that's not his real name. It's not anyone's real name, but it's fitting enough, as he was a rather large fella. A nice man all around, just rotund. Now, I heard he was on PCP. I heard he was infected by devils. I heard all manner of rumors, but from the mouth of Mr. Jiggles, none of that was true. See, one day in the middle of class, he just stopped giving a lecture and somehow became stricken with the idea that he was Jesus. I'm actually not making this up. It does sound like bull <gasps> even writing this, but I assure you, it happened. 1998 was the year, to be exact. He left the classroom and stood in the hallway waiting for class change and then picked students to bless. He'd walk up, bless the student, and then walk away, all the while preaching loudly that he was the coming of Christ. I'm not sure if it was a second coming in mind. Who knows? Maybe it was the first. That was unclear. But one of the students wasn't receptive to his blessing and swatted at Mr. Jiggles' hands. Mistake. Mr. Jiggles grabbed him by the throat and drug him down the hallway, promising to personally carry him into hell. He actually just carried him into a biology teacher's room. She tried to talk him down, but it wasn't working. The police and EMS arrived quickly enough. No one was hurt. Now, I think everyone assumed Mr. Jiggles was fired, but the next year he was back. Everyone had a version of the story and a theory for why it happened. Some say his wife was cheating on him. Others said it was some drug-induced psychosis. Well, one day at lunch, we were talking about something unrelated, and I just asked him point blank what happened. The answer? He was on some kind of psych meds, had run out, and forgot to refill them before hitting empty. His pharmacy was out of that particular medicine, told him it would be five days before they got it in, and he thought he'd be fine for that five days. He was mistaken. Stuart Gilligan Jiggles here. I am deeply offended by your use of my last name. The Jiggles are a proud house, and we will not forget this slight. 9-11-2003. We were in first period and had a moment of silence and remembrance at the time that the first plane hit the tower. I think it was a Channel 1 thing. The teacher broke down. She was panting, pulling her hair, and began mumbling to herself. The mumbling became louder and she started to pace. Finally, she walked over to a coffee pot that was in the room and picked up a large Ziploc bag of ground coffee while screaming, I wish this was Coke. I need it right now. She then fell against the wall and slid down. We let her go on for a minute or two before a few of my friends and I went over and helped her up and walked her to the front office. We got the best long-term sub ever after that, a true influence I'd only seen a few times in all of my schooling. I feel legitimately bad about causing this one. Junior year of high school, my lit teacher was from Wisconsin and had a very thick Midwestern accent. This was in the South, so a number of her intonations were very noticeable. In particular, words with an A-G syllable stuck out. Bag would be pronounced like a mixture of bay and egg. She was reading a passage from Beowulf to the class one day, and to paraphrase the modern English translation, came across the following sentence. Beowulf killed the dragon with the dagger. It was too many Midwestern syllables too close together for my friend and I to handle tactfully in our 16-year-old mindsets, and involuntarily, we laughed. Upon attempting to cover it up, it probably sounded more like a snicker, and she did not take it well. I wish I could say that she scolded us, but it was so much worse than that. She shut the book, looked at the floor, and straight up cried for what must have been 45 seconds, but felt like an entire 45 minutes. Dejected, breathless sobs. Once she had recovered from this, she picked it back up where she'd left off like it hadn't happened. Even though, generally speaking, I really dislike that teacher, it sucked knowing that our immature reaction caused her to feel ridiculed. We didn't have malicious intent, but the result was the same, and we of course apologized to her privately after the fact. And that's the end of Ask Reddit. Students of Reddit, what was the reason for why one of your teachers had a breakdown during class? Thank you so much for watching this most amazing facts video. Don't forget to hit the like button, get subscribed, and share this with one of your friends to either figure out how you can cause your teacher to have a breakdown, or just for fun. Anyways, thank you for watching the video and we'll see you in the next Most Amazing Fact video.